So the Investec Oaks is the first of today's two classics then. And it's a three-year-old fillies, of course, over a mile and a half. And the top one is Albara for Shadwell. Benadonna for Joshua Sutherland, Helvel in Bunny, Steve Rand, Hyperion and Joe Harrison for Paul Rhodes, Rosie Mary and Task Analysis for Hems, Thunder Queen for James Shea, Tyrrell Fabulous for Dan Hughes and Torren for Darren Thompson. So 10 then. Facing the starter. Anybody stop Paul Rhodes' stranglehold on these classics? They're all installed. And away they go. A little bit slow to go. Thunder Queen and Torrent. And Tyrrell Fabulous was out smartly, but Belladonna was out best of all. And is going to try and get over to the rail and does so. So Belladonna then is the early leader from Hyperion second. Task Analysis is in third. Then Thunder Queen and Hellvel in Bunny. Torrent is next. The one closest to us is the grey. Hellvel in Bunny, the back marker just Joe Hallinson at the moment, that one does like to come from the back and Belladonna is two lengths up in the lead to Hyperion second Task Analysis on the inside is third, Stable Companion Rosie Mary the favourite is tucked in behind and he's going to need a nice split on the rail Hellvel in Bunny is going widest on the track and has got Torren for company the blue jacketed two of Fabulous is after that one with Thunder Queen and back to Joe Hallinson and Albara They've got a mile to go in the Oaks, then they're racing uphill, and Belladonna is the leader. We're on Task Analysis in second, Hyper in third, and Torrent and Hellville in Bunny together. Rosie Mary on the inside of Thunder Queen. With Tyrrell Fabulous also nicely placed as they come past the car park there, and Belladonna's in front by two. Task Analysis second, Hyper in third, Tyrrell Fabulous is now moving through nicely in fourth. Rosie Mary still tucked in on the inside. Thunder Queen after that one. Hellville in Bunny still wide on the track, holding Torren in. And the back two, Joe Hallinson and Almira are going to need some luck in running to win from there. Five furlongs to go in the Oaks then. And Tyrrell Fabulous has now come out of the pack to move through into second. Benadonna though still in front. Uh, Benadonna in front by a couple of lengths to Tyrrell Fabulous second. Thunder Queen the next one to make a move is now in third. Then High Appearance hit a bit of a flat spot. Task Analysis is on the inside and has still got room to manoeuvre. Then comes Hellville in Bunny. Rosie Mary's had to pull off the fence. But it's Benadonna in the lead then from Tyrrell Fabulous in second. Thunder Queen is third, then Task Analysis Hyperion is going a little bit backwards, then comes Rosie Mary trying to run on Hellvel in Bunny and Torren not beaten, Joe Hannison and Albera are going to need miracles from there, but it's Tyrrell Fabulous coming to challenge Belladonna for the lead then it's Belladonna still sticking her neck out in the lead, but Tyrrell Fabulous pokes in front and Tyrrell Fabulous now takes it up by a head as they race into the final furlong in the Oaks, it's Tyrrell Fabulous in front from Belladonna, Thunder Queen, Hyperion's got a second win, Task Analysis is also running on as well, Tyrrell Fabulous, Belladonna Trying to fight back, they come up towards the line. And Belladonna's got back in the lead. Here comes Hyperion and Task Analysis. Well, Belladonna's going to take it. Belladonna wins it. Task Analysis, Hyperion. Joe Harrelson finished really well again, as always, but was much too late arriving on the scene. And the poor road stranglehold on the classics is broken by Joshua Sutherland as Belladonna takes the Oaks, battling back to lead after being collared inside the final furlong so Benadonna for Joshua other than the winner Task Analysis for him second Hyperion third for Paul Rhodes Tyrrell Fabulous Dan Hughes fourth and Rosie Mary for him was fifth